Devon Acres caught the winning two-point conversion in Ankeny's thrilling come from behind win over Crosstown rival Centennial. 39-38 was the final. I think the students might still be celebrating. That looked like a, a fun time there. Welcome back to Coach's Corner and joining me now in studio is Ankeny receiver Devin Akers. And, and uh, Devin, you've had, some, you've had some big catches against Dowling and Southeast Polk, that two-point conversion to win it. What do you think is the biggest catch you've made at Ankeny? I would definitely say it was the one versus Centennial. It's, you know, I think it's gonna be hard to top that down the road too, so. How tall are you, by the way? I, I, I feel about five foot two right now. Yeah, I'm 6'6", six, six, and before the season we did uh, measurements, I was actually a little over 6'6". Six, six, so. Oh. Okay, yep. six, six, and you're fast too, right? You're on the track team. Oh, the I like 200? to think I'm fast. Yep. Well, yeah, I think you have the numbers to to support that. Um, injured last year, so getting into your senior season here and making it memorable. How how much did being injured, having to miss a year, kind of frame what you want to get out of this year? I think it makes it all that much bigger because just not having last year, people don't really know what I can do out there. So just trying to like show people what I am and to myself what I can do as well. So, Two losses to the top two 5A teams in the state. What do you feel like you learned about yourself and, and your Hawks teammates in those losses? Well, we kept, we kept fighting. We showed flashes of what we can do versus them, but we just got to put that together and do it the entire game. So I think we can do it, though. How would you describe your, your Ankeny Hawk football team? How would you describe the character of this team? Uh, we're young, but we're... I, we're resilient, you know, we're hard workers, and I think we pride ourselves on that, so, yeah. What do you expect from Johnston Friday night, besides a lot of purple? I mean, what, besides the purple, what are you expecting out of Johnston? Uh, it's going to be a tough game. They're a, they got a high-powered offense, so they got some dudes over there, so it'll be, a, I think, a high-scoring matchup, but, yeah, we'll see. Uh, you know some of those guys? I do, yeah. I got some, got some friends over there. Dalen Houston, he's, he's my boy. He came from Marshalltown, so, yep. Yeah. Now, this game is at home for you. It's at Ankeny Stadium. You've got a student section that's uh, always fired up. How much does a, a home game help you? I think it helps a lot. You know, our student section actually travels pretty well, though, too. So it, they're pretty loud wherever we go, but I'd, it definitely helps a lot. All right, if we're uh, on the field after the game, let's say, um, let's say you're the player of the game because you've just had another great game. Um, what, what have you done? To, to beat Johnston. If everything goes the way the plan should for you to pull out a win on Friday night, how have you executed? Um, I think if we just do execute our game plan and just make the plays we know we can play, just focus on beating the dude across us every play, I think, I think we can win. Devin, I uh, appreciate you coming by the studio. I look forward to seeing you play uh, in person Friday night. Yep, thanks for having me. He is Devin Akers, and we're not done, but we're nearing the fourth quarter. Up next, Justin Surrency returns. He'll talk to a dragon about Friday's primetime game. <laughs>